Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Avinav. Today we are going to discuss about the third problem of Lead Code Contest 368. So we have already discussed the problem A and B, means the first two problems, which are basically you can see minimum sum of mountain triplet one and minimum sum of mountain triplet two. Now in this particular video, we'll discuss about the third problem, which is minimum number of group to create a valid assignment. This was a good problem. Let's discuss it. The problem is. That you are given a zero index array of num, where you have to divide that array into some groups. The condition is that every group will have values with the like numbers with the same value, elements with the same value, and two like that the difference between the size of the two group should not be more than one. Means it can be either zero either one. Okay. For example, if the array is like this. If the array is like this, you can see that ten is present three times, three is present five times, and five is present two times. So the groups that you can create is ten comma ten, three comma three, three comma three, three, ten, and five comma five. So means the minimum number of groups. You have to find the minimum number of groups. The minimum number of groups that can be created is six, and the size of each group will be either two, either one, because the difference between the size cannot be more than one. It should be one or zero. So why we created size two groups? Because we can't. Okay, uh, we can create size three group also. How you can see? We can take ten, ten, and ten. We can take five and five. We can take three, three, and three. So answer will not be six. Answer can be three also. Because here also you will see the size of the group is two and three only. But let's say, let's say, if this five is present just one time, then this is not possible. Then we have to go for this thing only. So basically, guys, this is what the problem is. So one observation that you have to made here is that you have to make here is that the minimum, like the size, right, the maximum size of a group that you can have is the smallest number of time. Uh, uh, minimum number of time a number is occurring. For example, that here five was occurring one time means you cannot create groups of size more than one. The maximum size group that can be created is one, and because we can take a difference of two, it can be two. Are you getting this point? So, for example, five is present two times here. Means means if five is present two times here, that means the group size. That means the group size. Group size can be less than equal to five or six. That's all. It can be five or maybe with a difference of one six. It cannot be more than six. That is the first point. First observation that we are making, right? So first of all, what I will do for the given index, I will find the you know the uh, frequency of each number, and then I will find which number is having the least frequency. You can see here in the code. First of all, using a map, I have calculated the frequency of each number, okay, and then I am adding all those frequencies in a vector. I am adding all those frequencies in a vector. So, for example, in this particular case, there are three frequencies. What frequencies are three, five, and two? After it, I am sorting the vector. So now, vector is like two, three, and five. Means Least number of time a number is present is two. That means that at max we can create a groups of size two or three. We cannot create if you want to create a group of size five. You can't create because here it is not possible. If you will try to make a maximum size group five, then you will make five here, three here, two here. Difference will be more. Difference will be more than one. So the maximum size of the group that can be created will be. Either this value or more than this. So I'm finding the minimum value from here. Like the first index of this v will be the minimum value. And we know that the maximum size of the group that can be created will be between one to i. Means between one to this v of zero. It cannot be more than v of zero. So I'm having an array from one to v of zero. Now. 
but we can have a difference of one right so let's say if we are assuming that the size of my group should be i some number between this so it can also be i plus 1 it can be i also it can be i plus 1 also but not other than that because we can have a minimum difference of one only difference of one only so what i will do now i will check that if you have to make groups of size a and of size b which is i plus 1 so how many such groups can be created and even if this is possible or not if it is possible we will find the minimum of how many groups are created if it's not possible we will move forward so for a and b we will first check whether it is possible or not so for all the numbers in our array in all the numbers in our vector v okay means for all the frequencies we will check whether it is possible or not initially i am taking my bad as false like we are assuming that it is possible bad is false now the current number is vi now we will find that for this vi for the current number vi which we are taking how many uh, groups can be created so if that current number is divisible by a means groups can be divided in a groups can be divided in the parts of a and the number that we can get is count till now plus current by a let's say if there are 10 numbers and group size is 5 means you can take two groups out of 10 so current by a and till now how many groups are created because maybe a case let's say let's say you are saying your a is 2 and you are saying your b is 3 so maybe it is possible that if your v uh, of i is 13 so first you have to take a group of 3 and then for the remaining you will take 5 groups of 2 like this so this is how uh, 13 will be distributed so if current is not divisible by a let's say in case of 13 first we will subtract b from it we will take a b from it and then we will increase the counter and if it is divisible by a we will simply count now if at the last your minimum is int max means your group are not possible means group with the value a and b are not possible then make bad is equal to true else if it is possible move to the next number and find the sum of all the groups that are possible and finally if it is not bad means if it is possible to create group of size a and b so find minimum how many groups are being created and then return the answer okay so the problem was little bit of complex okay i can understand it was a, a complex problem i will again give an example what we are doing for example there is a array where 5 is present 7 times uh, 3 is present 5 times 9 is present 11 times now what should be the answer for this particular case so i will find the minimum of it so minimum of this all is you will see 5 now you will take a loop from 1 to 5 right because you know that uh, the maximum size can be 1 2 3 4 5 or at max 6 so you are going up to 5 why you are going up to 5 now first i is here you are taking a is equal to i b is equal to i but means i am assuming that size can be a that is 1 or size can be b 2 i will assume that size of my number I, I, either 1 or 2 now here you will see that if you create size of 2 so 2 arrays are possible and then 1 array is possible so 3 partition are possible here 2 comma 2 comma 1 here also 4 are possible 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1 here 6 are possible 2 into 5 comma 1 so sum of this will be 13 means if you will divide the group into size of 2 and 1 you will get 13 groups let's check for 3 let's check for 2 means when i is 2 b is 3 so for i to b3 is it possible let's check so for i to b3 also it's possible here two groups made here three groups made here Five group mates here sum of group is 10 so minimum is 10 right now next next is a is 3 b is 4 so 3 comma 4 so here is it possible with 3 comma 4 no it is not uh, oh, sorry uh, no it is not possible there is no possibility that this 5 can be distributed such that one group size is 3 one group size is 5 even it is not possible for 4 comma 5 yeah for 5 comma 6 is possible i will make this group as 5 but then this is not possible the final answer will be 10 only
okay that's the thing guys so the code is little bit difficult but i hope that you have got it if you have any doubt regarding this code you can join my telegram channel there i am active and you guys you can ask me a doubt if you want the code of this so you can check out the link github link present in the description box you can get the code of this particular problem okay so that's all for this particular video guys uh, uh i have uploaded the previous two video already you can check it out thanks for watching the video please come and helpful if it is helpful thanks a lot thank you